happened this morning. You know that? Were you in here? No. So then nothing happened to you this morning. Spot, do you mean physically or physical? We were not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you this morning? Recent posts have been coming up of Johnny Depp and his unfortunate ankle injury, but weirdly enough, fans have realized that each time something about Johnny goes viral, several news outlets also release posts about Amber and link her to him. Recent posts like, Amber Heard looks relaxed, happy in Madrid as Johnny Depp faces teeth criticism after his Cannes appearance, and Amber Heard beams in New Home Madrid as ex-Johnny Depp cancels tour over injury after the recent injury that has had him postpone his tour have been popping up each time Johnny is going through something major, and fans have started to notice. This weird trend of using Johnny to keep Amber relevant has not really sat well with the public because they feel like using someone's injury against them for your own gain is something that should be confronted and done away with, with each of the ex-couple stars going their own ways, doing their own things. These posts have alleged that Amber Heard's happiness can't be contained now that she's living in Spain and that she was seen venturing out to a book fair with a friend in Madrid with a smile she couldn't keep off her face. She was dressed in head-to-toe black and even walked away with some goodies from the fair while she also carried three totes filled with books. They also alleged that Amber has reportedly quit Hollywood to live in the Spanish capital with her two-year-old daughter, Una, and that she had no problem showing off beautiful teeth as she grinned and chatted with her pal during the outing. Amber Heard herself has not spoken about her quitting Hollywood and moving to Madrid, but Daily Mail's Alison Boshoff claimed in an article that she could reveal that Amber had quit Hollywood and had quietly relocated with her young baby daughter, Una. According to the journalist, a friend of Heard said, she's bilingual in Spanish and is happy there, raising her daughter away from all the noise. Alison alleged that the friend also told the outlet that Amber may one day return to Tinseltown. According to the Daily Mail report, the friend said, I don't think she is in any hurry to return to work or to Hollywood, but she will probably come back when the time is right for the right project. Now back to the fact where the articles compared Amber and Johnny's teeth by saying the actress's pearly whites are a far cry from what ex-husband Johnny Depp is working within the dental department. This is obviously after Johnny recently became a hot topic for having brown teeth that appeared to be rotting at the premiere of his new film, Jean Dubarry at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival earlier this month. Everyone was writing articles and even news of him with his browning teeth, and this article jumped on the opportunity to link Amber's pearly white with Johnny Brownies. Although fans suspected that Depp's teeth were decaying, they were proven wrong by celebrity dentist Dr. Appa, who allegedly told Page Six Style that the brown spots were actually the result of aggressive wear. Dr. Appa, who is behind the smiles of Ramona Singer, Kendall Jenner, Simon Cowell, and many more celebrities, believes Depp's passion for espresso and cigarettes is the reason why the actor's teeth were stained and that they also didn't seem to get enough cleaning. Dr. Appa suggested that Johnny get a really good cleaning to improve the optics of his mouth and to get porcelain veneers to reverse the wear. I would do veneers because he needs his bite re-established, Appa explained, saying, he's worn his teeth down so much. Appa and many others claimed that he had a rugged natural look that suited him since his status as a rocker is becoming as well known as his Hollywood career. Unfortunately for Appa and all those hating on Johnny's teeth, the actor likely won't be interested in any extreme dental work, as he once boasted about having rotten teeth and lots of cavities. In a 1995 interview with Premier Magazine, he proudly claimed that he got a lot of cavities and that he had had a root canal done that wasn't finished, making it become rotten. Johnny seems to adore his flawed smile. It was the imperfections of it that he likes saying. It's like when the Indians would make something beaded, they would always put imperfections on it. I'm proud of these. Johnny doesn't really like good teeth, and he also criticized those with a perfect set of pearly whites and said he'd hate to have them. When I see people with perfect teeth, it drives me up the wall, he said. I'd rather swallow a tick than have that. The outlet noted that despite being so close to him, Depp's breath remained odorless despite his penchant for wine and smoking. 
The man's not interested in pearly whites, and his teeth are perfect to him as they are. His appearance comes one year after his six-week trial involving his ex-wife, Heard. Back in 2018, Depp accused Heard of defaming him in the Washington Post op-ed, in which she referred to herself as a domestic abuse survivor. Several years later, Amber was photographed in Madrid, appearing relaxed and happy as she shopped for books and snapped selfies with locals all smiles as she chatted with pals in an all-black outfit. Now with how pearly Amber's teeth are, it would have made relatively way more sense if the article had been about her and her teeth, and maybe a toothpaste brand deal. But no, they also had to jump and link her to Johnny, who, after Ken, was forced to postpone his band's tour dates as he recovers from a painful ankle injury. The band, made up of Johnny himself, Alice Cooper, Joe Perry, and Tommy Henriksen, announced on social media saying, We are sad to share that the Hollywood Vampires will be rescheduling our three U.S. tour dates this coming week. Johnny has sustained a painful injury to his ankle following his recent appearances and has been advised by his doctor not to travel. The statement continued, he is devastated by this turn of events but looks forward to resting up so all four vampires can bring their absolute best to the tour in Europe. Johnny Depp himself also announced the postponement of several tour dates after he suffered from a foot injury. He also took to Instagram Monday to apologize to fans for the cancellation of his upcoming concerts with his band Hollywood Vampires. Depp said, My dear friends, I am sorry to say that I have fractured my ankle, which is a drag. It began as a hairline break, but somewhere between Cannes and the Royal Albert Hall, it got worse rather than better. He continued to say his doctors advised him to take a break from touring due to his injury. Several medical professionals have strongly suggested he avoids any and all activity for the moment, and he claimed that he was so incredibly sad and unable to travel at this time. The guys and I are very sorry to miss you in New Hampshire, Boston, and New York, Depp noted, with rescheduled tour dates listed at the bottom of his post. Despite how things are going, he vowed to make it up to fans by promising them an amazing show during the Hollywood Vampires Europe tour and bring their absolute best to the East Coast later this summer. After the concert cancellations, Hollywood Vampires are slated to kick off their tour starting on June 8th in Romania. And since this news is going viral, a post of how happy Amber is while her ex-husband has had an injury came up again. It's like the man's ankle is hurting, why use him if you've left Hollywood? Depp and his band previously performed at a Portugal music festival in 2016. At the time, he was initially facing domestic abuse claims from his ex-wife Amber Heard. When questioned by paparazzi for the first time since his defamation trial against Amber Heard concluded last year, Depp was quick to answer that he had felt boycotted by the industry that made him a star. Did I feel boycotted by Hollywood? Well, you'd have to not have a pulse to feel at that point like this was all just a weird joke, he said during a press conference at Cannes Film Festival to promote his upcoming film Gene DeBerry, per The Hollywood Reporter. He claimed that having to resign from an entire franchise based on rumors felt like a boycott, but he no longer felt that way because he no longer needed Hollywood. Depp's appearance at Cannes comes one year after his six-week trial involving Amber Heard. Depp accused her of defaming him in the 2018 Washington Post op-ed, in which she referred to herself as a domestic abuse survivor. Amber Heard is a pretty well-collected and beautiful woman who can be able to make her name go viral if she wanted to, but linking her to Johnny seems sad and wrong. A fan on Twitter said, Lolol, she has to be attached to every move that man makes. Girl can't get a headline without him. Amber Heard wears a hat as Johnny Depp sells out shows. Another said she has no life without him. She has nothing new lined up because Hollywood is frightened of the backlash or knowing the blackmail that would come with it. She will never donate a cent. She will always be lying. Anyways, let's not forget that this video is based on theories and my opinions and should not be considered facts. That's it for this video. Bye.